yo, what up, everybody? How you guys doing today? Starting off day number 10 of daily vlogs. That makes me feel so happy. I'm sticking to it. I told you guys. Sorry, I know you hear me every single day counting the days that I've been back. But saying that is like a constant reminder to myself that you're doing this, bro. You're sticking to it. Did want to let you know that today is the very last day that you can get 50% off of the entire merch store at Lance210.com. If you want a piece of merch, I'm stressing, get it now. I have never done a discount this big on my website. So go get it right now while you can. Little update on how Hazel is feeling. She seems to be normal. If you guys saw yesterday's vlog, she ate a bug. And these bugs literally take down like entire trees. I don't know, obviously she's not a tree, but she's holding up pretty well. What do you want? I know, I know what that face is. She said, give me a treat. Give me one now. A little crunchy. Damn, Hazel, chew at your mouth closed, girl. <laughs> ja, 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 geo. <laughs> the second she hears his name. All right, all right. Woo, it's scorching hot out today. Ugh, Jersey never surprises me with this weather. Try to get sunburned, just staying out for five minutes. Oh, hi. Wait, she's eating his food. Uh, what the f man? Oh, she's got his treat. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Did you see her out there? Oh, that was ironic timing. You don't gotta get it, I'll get it. Where's your merch at? You don't got the merch on? I'm lucky I'm up. I got my merch on. You said you're lucky you're up. Were you here last night? No. You're actually going crazy. I wasn't here. Who unlocked the door? I don't know. That door was locked. I gotta sit down. All right, I understand what you're saying, but I wasn't here. Okay, it was last night. The boogeyman's coming to get you. When I called you. Grandma called me at like 8 o'clock, freaking out, I saying the dog's you. barking, going crazy. I was like, Grandma, I, I just got to the gym. Because I thought it was you going to prank me. No. The dog was barking. Okay. So I get up, and he's barking near Julian's room. So I get, yes. So I turn the bathroom light on, and he's got his phone, and he, but he's barking and looking. My mind, Lance is in there. No. He's going to come in <laughs> and scare him and take a f***ing heart attack. <laughs> Real quiet, I turn the light out. Yeah. I go back in and shut my door. She's creeping in there. I get in bed, <laughs> and I got the TV on mute. Yeah. The iPad's off, because I'm listening for you to scare me. Oh, my God. So you can't scare me. <laughs> He barked for two hours last night. Oh my god. He wouldn't go out, and I'm not going in there. I mean, Hazel does that, but I think Hazel just sees her reflection. And you know, she's a young pup. She doesn't really understand it yet. But Gio, if he saw his reflection, I don't feel like he'd bark at himself no, at this point. No. He's like See, almost he, six years old. He hears your car like the, you was out already today, yeah. right? He heard your car. Hmm. He barks. During the night when he hears somebody after you, he barks. Yeah. So I know something's going on. I, just, I mean, I don't have a butcher knife in there with me. You might need to. You might need to bring one. I'm gonna have to start taking it to yeah. bed with mom and dad's not home. Yeah. I was scared last night. I get it. Cause I'm thinking this motherfucker's gonna try to scare no, me. No, <laughs> I have my stipulations. If it's late at night, I'm not gonna come in there and scare you. Okay. But I never know me. It's with you. I understand. And last night I was late. I <laughs> He's just chilling by the gate. They always do this. I gotta get them really fast. If not, they try to dig under the gate. What? No way. You looked at me and you got scared. I didn't say a word. You don't have to. <laughs> That's up. Two things. Very important. What? Number one, I really need that medicine. Number two, I need you to check this phone because I took a picture last night with Gio. I was seeing what he was doing and he's got the rug and he's pulling the rug up and he gets it up in a hump, say, mm -hmm. and he's laying in it. So I didn't know how to do the video. The you video, took a picture? I took a picture. Let me see it. That's the thing I'm trying to explain to you. You don't know how to get it up? I, it said it was full. The memory is full. This is full. Everything's full. Mm. It needs, everything's got to be deleted or I don't know how to do it. I don't think it's full. We're but I see. don't want to lose my picture. It's probably your iCloud story the, because yeah, that pops up for me too. That. She tried taking a photo. This is, it's very far away. Look, this is the, this um, is the you, photo that Graham took. You can't do jack shit. Well, but I can see it. If I zoom in. Yeah, see him? See him? <laughs> yeah, he's laying there. Grandma using uh, technology. Well, I know what I have to tell you. You got all kinds of stories today. Jesus, because I have to get it off while I can. You know when you go on your history? On Facebook and you go to your... Grandma, I told you how to clean your porn hub history. No, I'm not supposed to get the porn right now. <laughs> oh my God, another fucking story. I got a text okay. from somebody. Hey, now what the f*** is that all about? <laughs> <laughs> what do you? What happened? What? What am I supposed to say to that? Well, look at it. it when I, I want to. They said hi. So what? Ignore them. At two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I'm gonna 
tell these motherfuckers they're nuts. <laughs> Grandma just clearly doesn't get technology, guys. No, it's very somebody funny. Somebody else took the text up at 2 o'clock in the morning. If it was an emergency, hey, hey, Bonnie. <laughs> Motherfucker. I don't understand. I can't. Uh, yeah. I'm going to shut Clearly. Up, start turning the motherfucking phone off at my little time. <laughs> what is that? Leftover crab? Yeah, the last crab I'm eating it before it gets no good. All right, I'm going to go get grandma's medicine. Where are you going? Oh, <laughs> where am I going? I don't know. Where, where am I going, I Grandma? I just said it. All right. All right. I had a big night. I'm really tired. Go to sleep. That's why I'm not dressed, dressed, presentable to even go to the store. Because this isn't presentable to go to Walgreens? No. <laughs> what do you got to dress up for? My legs showing through all my veins. That's why I don't go out like this. <laughs> Grandmom's afraid to show off her veins. You yeah. got to be proud of those gains. Those vein gains. <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing to be proud of when you get old and you got veins like that, jerk off. I don't know, maybe I'm different. I guess the f you are different. Grandma Rita feels the same way. There was a couple of years ago where I pointed out her veins See, and she got she got pissed about it. You made something that you get pissed. It's like this is your grandson fing putting you down because you're old. I'm not putting you down. That's what it's I can I'm literally you. not doing that though. But I can but this is how we take it. Okay, I understand. Oh, I understand yeah. Grandma Rita. Yeah. Because when you say it to me, I, I must have been like, I'm gonna be honest. I said a couple years ago, I must have been like 12 years old when I said it. Lance, I can tell you things that you said to me back in the day. All right. What's he want to go out? It was just out there. Uh, at the gym. And you didn't even realize, I'll tell you what it is after you shut the camera. <laughs> yeah, okay. You have to watch what you say to people, really. Yeah. Like, I didn't have my favorite bit. I'm not saying it like that. But you don't understand people get insulted. I get you it. You notice it. People get insulted for everything these days. It is what it is. You know, I know I got flaws. I ain't perfect. I gained weight. I ain't no way in it. I don't need my grandson pointing the f out. <laughs> well, how about I'm not your grandson anymore? And I'll just. Oh, then, motherfucker, then you're going to really get the f beat up. <laughs> Oh, uh, so I guess being your grandson is my protection for myself. You got that right. Anybody else will be like, I like to up in a heartbeat. Yo, grandma's not playing either. <laughs> I remember, I, I don't know, I was really young. I must have been like seven, eight years old. She got into a fight with this woman on the same street as her. I think you threw a fucking bottle at her. Huh? Was that you or was that I, our, No, it was not Was me. that my aunt? <laughs> I was this same but in case I was needed, but I didn't have to be needed. <laughs> there was something else that happened on the same night where I got this scar on my, I think it's this side. Jumping around acting like I was Superman on my grandma's couch and I ended up falling and like cracking my eyebrow open because I went head first into it. But that same night, you got into like a fight with somebody. I probably did. I mean, it was the guy upstairs. I remember being outside. Well, I did take him outside when he came down. <laughs> she took him outside? <laughs> so you want to take this outside? Well, he came down the steps with wouldn't answer his door and he was outside, not, you know, me with my mouth. Mm -hmm. And all the people were going, this year, I saw him on my fucking motherfucker. That guy had you standing there. I said, come on, boy. <laughs> and you and your fucking stench ass cats. I, it was all about the cat here. Yeah. It set me up on the steps. Because I always kept the steps clean. Yeah. Well, the way Grandma lived was it was her place, and then upstairs there was another place. So this is how, like, three story apartment. Three story apartment. This is how some homes work in, in Philly. You'd walk in, it would be her place. You'd walk up another flight of stairs to somebody else's place. All right. That's the gist. But he would throw beer peas out and go in the yard. I mean, he was a real motherfucker. <laughs> Stuck out and beat him up. I'm going to go get your medicine. Yeah, I <laughs> and throw up. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about veins, Julia just sends me this and I'm getting veins while not even working out. Because you're getting leaner, cuz. Yeah, with grandma. She was talking about her leg veins again. I think it really pissed her off. Well, why does it piss her off? I don't know. I think my grandma has them too. Yeah, I think all grandmoms have them. All right, got grandma's medicine. We're good. Boom! What are you doing? Face rolling. Face rolling. Does that thing vibrate? Yeah. You don't have it on? <laughs> but I keep it in the freezer so it's cold. Pressing on your lymph nodes and stuff? Mm-hmm. Draining them. Yo, medicine. <laughs> all right, all right, Gio. Thank you. Oh, God. He hurt your ears? Yeah, my eyes really like Yeah, he's a little aggressive with his barks. <laughs> what? 
Dang, they're getting real creative with these cheeses. Cheddar cheese with jalapeno and cayenne pepper. So I just made a grilled cheese with that cheese. It was pretty good, definitely a little spicy. Not as spicy as I expected it to be though, but that's good, it was like a perfect amount. I don't really like super spicy things anyway. The other day I did a Q&A in the vlog with Julia and I figured, let's do it with grandma. I know you guys have a ton of questions for her. I tweeted asking you guys to tweet me some questions. Let's see what we got. <laughs> what? When did grandma lose her virginity? <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was so many fucking years ago. How am I supposed to remember that? <laughs> Do you know how old you were? Yeah, when I got married. Yeah, okay. Yes, the question I'm answering the truth. Actually? Sweet. When did you get married at 10 years old? I was 18 when I got married. I was a virgin. Wow, that's very surprising. Because that's the way I was brought up. Okay. What were you like as a child? It all depends on what age you're talking about. Let's I, say you were like 10 years old. How, how did oh, you Oh, I was a good kid. Yeah? As far as that goes, I was a very well no. After 18, you just let loose and became a well, crazy... Well, no, then I was married and started having kids, so yeah. I was, you know, into that. But I always had a mouth, though. Yeah. Your favorite memory with each other? With who? With me. Oh, with you? <laughs> the day you were born when I cut your cord. <laughs> yeah, Grandma always talks about that. She brags about cutting my cord. I do. I certainly do. I think my favorite memories with you are, you used to live in Philadelphia, and I would always go to Grandma's when I was a kid. We would just walk around. We'd always go to a dollar store together, yeah, and you'd buy like me that. little toys. Yeah. All these little different events that would happen, like the little <laughs> Halloween events. We'd go and make scarecrows. Yeah, yeah, There was yeah. a bunch of little different things. Well, We'd do know, little movie events. Of what, you know, the time of the year and all that. I very vividly remember, though, we would always go on little adventures in this. City, walk yeah. around, do things together. Took you in the bus a couple times. Yeah, I was remember. just about to say that. Oh, yeah. okay. Does Lance piss you off when he scares you? Because no. I really get scared. I really do. It's That's the type of person I am. I, I just know. get scared very easily. That's why I get so aggravated and all. Fight or flight mode instantly. Oh my God, terrible. How often do you know your grandma? Literally all every day. All the time, 24-7. You know, I let, can answer that. <laughs> let's address something. Because I feel like people think that you hate me. I think that was actually a question as well. Oh, like, do you hate no, Lance? no. Not at all. He's been doing this since he was little, especially when he started vlogging then. Mm -hmm. Well, even back in the day, we'd have company over and I would get a tin can and, and I'd ice it all up and serve like one table for a cake. Okay. And somebody go try to cut it. <laughs> it was it's, the cake. Oh, so, oh, the cake was yeah, a tin can? Yeah, yeah, That's a funny yeah. prank. I should do that I, on you. I, I used to. I mean, <laughs> I'm kidding. I can't I help. think you take after me in a lot of ways because I used to do crazy shit. In school, teachers, I would put ink on their chair before they came in. Really? Oh, yeah, I would, yeah, I did all I'm that. I'm like a spitting image of grandma in, I in a guy to version. I all that crazy shit. Yes, I did. Oh, that's funny. I didn't know that. I know as a viewer, it's probably a little confusing seeing our dynamic every day. It's a lot of the time me just pissing grandma off. But the thing about grandma, she'll get really mad in the moment and then a couple of minutes go by and she's chilled out. She doesn't really care anymore. And she actually yeah, finds yeah, I just, that's it's just funny. just way of life. Yeah. But when I don't feel well, he doesn't bother me, so that's a good yeah. thing. <laughs> Ground doesn't take life too seriously, which is good, you know? When I was a kid, we would do pranks on people. Yeah. You know, the pizza prank, call up and order pizza. When I was a kid, me and my friend, me and Aiden, we would call, like, Dick Sporting Goods. And we'd be like, huh, do you guys sell dicks there? <laughs> <laughs> like, so stupid, right? I'm a little kid. They said they were going to call the cops on oh, us, yeah. and we got so scared. Sure. We thought the cops were going to come show up at our house. They never did, but... <laughs> Uh -huh. What kind of diapers does grandma wear? Whatever kind he bought me. <laughs> we diapers, not yet anyway. <laughs> what was the first prank you put on grandma? Dude, oh I don't God. even know. I could have been like six years old. I, I can't remember that. It was definitely before I recorded anything. But like the first prank that I actually recorded, I think I put red hair dye in your shampoo. No, that wasn't the first one. I've done like little things that to annoy you. But like, I think like full-fledged prank, I think that was the first one. I can't really remember. But, I'd always scare you. Yeah, I, I use like the air horn, but like a full elaborate prank, I think it was I can't putting remember. red it hair dye so, in your shampoo. I remember that one. I was so many of them, but you did to me, I just can't remember. Yeah. And there's a lot that you did and you you never even put the moon there. I know. The fans don't really know this, but there's a lot of times where I record a video and I and I look at it, I'm just like, man, I just didn't get the reaction that I thought I would get because it could be like a crazy prank, like a really funny idea. And like either just somebody doesn't react or they just don't give a good reaction. Or you didn't like it. Or I just didn't like the reaction. Do you remember the so one? So then I'll try the same prank on like another person and maybe they give me a better reaction or uh, who knows, right? Remember the one I was sitting on the sofa? I had a whole basket of folded up clothes and you were upstairs, but it was in the other house there. It was set up different. And you threw the whole basket of the clothes over on me. <laughs> and I went off on you. Yeah. You didn't vlog, put it on the video because you I didn't posted like it. it. I posted it. I it, didn't think you posted it. I think I posted it and it did really bad. A lot of people weren't engaging. It just wasn't doing uh, good. You know, so I took it down. At the time, you thought it was funny, which I didn't think it was funny because I had to struggle with them. Yeah. 
Close. <laughs> yeah, but that happens a lot. I'll record content. Maybe I'll be like, all right, I don't think this is great, but let me post it. Let me see how the audience reacts. If the audience doesn't give a good reaction, yeah, he'll take it down. I'll eventually just take it down. When somebody goes to my profile, like TikTok or Instagram, for example, and it's a bunch of prank videos, I want them to go in there and laugh at almost everything I post. If something that I post doesn't really perform well, I'm like, eh, they're probably not gonna end up finding this funny if it's like a new person coming to my page. So, you know, I take it down. Quality yeah. over quantity for me in that aspect. But you don't do it that often. Like you don't do it a lot. Yeah, no, but it you does happen saying, but sometimes. But you do do it, I know you yeah. do, yeah. That's the social media game yeah. for you. Do you both get along? Yes, very well actually. Oh, yeah, we get along fine. More than you guys probably think. I don't think we've really ever had an argument, really. Not really, no. But I remember one time in the apartment, you were, you were young maybe eight and in the middle room i just had like a bed for somebody to sleep over but that's where i kept my iron board yeah and i always unplug the iron i don't know it was maybe a couple of hours after you went home thought i smelled something and like i went there there's a fucking iron plugged in laying on the fucking floor on the rug i probably the did it fucking lance i probably did i knew it was you that's like the one time you were little you burned the carpet and blamed doing the other little kid i don't remember that oh, I remember mom says it. this story all the time oh i, I remember. remember it my mom used to I babysit said, kids as like lance a side did. job i know lance did it because the fire broke. and the other kid got blamed but i didn't do it you so maybe do sabrina it. do it i don't know no, I, but I there was a time it. sabrina wrote my name on the wall and my parents got mad at me and i was like why would i write my own name on the wall <laughs> And then she eventually confessed that it was her. But. Yeah, but no, that time you did do what I just said. Yeah, she did. I don't remember. Did. How old is grandma? I am 77 years old. Why do you live with Bruce and Nina? It's better than living in an old people's home. I have my own house. Yeah. I saw that. I moved it with your mom and dad. Grandma used to babysit this a lot because my, par right. my parents both were worked. Younger. And they were busy. You, uh, they worked, so I moved in to take care of you and to take care of the house. Exactly. And that's how that came about. And then grandma's just been living with us. Yeah, now I can't live on my own. I'm not. I'm not I can't be alone yeah. right now. Does grandma love when you vlog her daily? I think she enjoys being in the videos and seeing, you know, the comments from the fans. She probably gets annoyed when I piss her off, but. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm just so used to it now. It's the way of life. Grandma, what was your first job and did you enjoy it or did you get fired? I never got fired from a job. Well, when I was really younger, I used to clean for people. Like, I would clean the barbershops. And then the real first job, I was worked in the theater. An usher. An usherette, I was. Okay. With the flashlight and go show people to their seat. I had to take two buses to get there. Yeah, that's so. like a non existent job anymore. They oh, do God, that. we're going back, Lance. I yeah. mean, I'm 77 years old. I was like 14 years old, whatever. I was yeah. young. What was Grandmom's first car? It was a Chevrolet, if I can remember correctly. And then I graduated to a Mustang. I love my Mustangs, but that's been a long time ago. Centuries. <laughs> What is one thing you would like to do before you die? Be very honest with you. Cool. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> uh, it's me. I have a very boring life, but I'm content. That's good. I'm trying to find some good ones. Are you guys ever going to do P.O. Box openings again? Oh, my God. Remember that? Dude, that was crazy. There was like 50 packages a day. That was absurd. I was so grateful, right? But it was just very overwhelming. And then there was like 20, 30 minutes worth of my vlog where it was just that. I'm down to do it. If it got a little absurd, I, I probably wouldn't do it as often. Maybe like one vlog every week I'll do it. They were just out of this world would get, you know, stuff yeah. that they would send. It was no wild. Words. It was definitely awesome. We really appreciate it. But Thank you. But they sent me such beautiful turtles. Yeah. I still have every one of them. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. That is it for the questions. I'm going through them and I can't really find any other good ones. Maybe you guys have some questions down below that you can leave us. Maybe we'll answer them in another vlog. Bye. <laughs> Gio, you knocked all the pillows off. Oh, he got his hump toy out there. That crusty thing. He just knocked another one off. <laughs> Alrighty guys, that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. I know it was a little all over the place today. It was kind of just mostly story time with grandma, but you know, it's something different, switch it up. Don't forget that today is the very last day where you can get the merch 50% off on the store lance210.com. Get it now while you can. And of course, every single day, I like to give notification shout outs to people that have my post notifs turned on. Here's today's shout out to the day. Boom, boom, boom. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.